It's me, Mr. Hullabaloo, the magical storyteller. I'm delighted to be with you this evening and so excited about the big Christmas light switch on. Why, my friends and I can hardly wait to celebrate with you all. Christmas really is a magical time of year, a special time to spend with all your family and friends. And speaking of friends, I've got lots of special friends that live in the magical kingdom of Hullabaloo. Would you like to meet them all? You would? Well, we've got an extra special treat for you tonight. A magical winter story. So sit back, relax and enjoy the fun. Would you like to meet my friend Jingles, everyone? Brilliant! Watch this, boys and girls. We'll need to do some storybook magic to make him appear. If I take a splash of sunny yellow and a dash of rosy red, a sprinkling of jingly bells upon his little head, throw in a rainbow beam and what do you know? It's jolly Jester Jingles! Ta-da! Here to say hello. Hello Jingles, it's nice to see you today. Look at all of our friends, the boys and girls who have come out to play. Have you brought any of your friends with you today, Jingles? You have? Oh look, boys and girls, it's Jingles teddy bear, Bobbin. Let's give Bobbin Bear a nice friendly wave hello. Jingles, Bobbin, would you like to share a story today? You would? Well, I wonder which story we could share together. Have you got a clue for me? Jingles always brings a story clue to see which story we're going to tell today in the kingdom of Hullabaloo. What's this, Jingles? Some gingerbread. Mmm. Boys and girls, do you like gingerbread? Rub your hungry tummies if you like gingerbread. I think I've got a very special story all about a very special gingerbread man. Shall we begin, boys and girls? Once upon a time in the kingdom of Hullabaloo, it was winter and Bobbin the Bear wanted to go and visit his cousin Ola. Ola is a very special type of bear, boys and girls. Does anybody know what type of bear she is? That's right, everyone. She's a polar bear. Cousin Ola likes living where it's cold. I like the cold bobbin, she said, because she has her nice warm winter jacket, her favorite winter boots, and her nice warm gloves. But Bobbin the bear was freezing. Can everybody shiver? Oh, I wouldn't like to live in the winter woods all the time, Cousin Ola, said Bobbin. My ears are freezing. Cousin Ola had a special surprise for Bobbin. It was a brand new winter woolly hat to wear. Bobbin likes his new hat with the pom-pom on top. I wish I had a special present I could give my cousin Ola, he thought. Just then, Bobbin the bear had an idea. Off he went to visit Dotty in her kitchen. Dotty will know what to make for Ola. Dotty is our cook in the land of storybook. And that day she was ever so busy in her kitchen, baking lots and lots of gingerbread. That's it, said Bobbin. Dotty, will you help me make the biggest gingerbread man ever for my cousin Ola? Of course I will, said Dotty. But I'll need to ask Sprinkles the mouse for some help. Sprinkles was the little kitchen mouse. He lived in Dotty's kitchen in a gingerbread house. Little Sprinkles gets his name because one day when they were baking, some rainbow sprinkles fell on top of his hat. They're still there to this day, so that's why we called him that. Will you fetch the ingredients, Sprinkles? said Dotty. So, boys and girls, we can all help to make the gingerbread too. Come on, everyone. Pick up your bowls and the flour. 
You put the flour in the bowl, then the sugar and spice, then you mix it all together so it tastes really nice. And when you mix the gingerbread in the bowl, you get a rolling pin and you give it a roll. Roll forward and back. Roll forward and back. And when you roll the gingerbread nice and flat, you get a cookie cutter and you push it down splat. Look at the gingerbread man we have helped to make. Dotty and Bobbin decorated the gingerbread man. She gave him two little raisin eyes, boop, boop, a sweetie button nose, and squiggly white icing from his head to his toes. I'll pop him inside the oven to bake. I wonder how long the gingerbread will take. But something happened that day that had never happened before. There came a tap, tap, tap from behind the old oven door. When Dotty opened up the door to the oven, the gingerbread man jumped out. She chased him round and round the room and he began to shout, Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! Na 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 na! Stop that cookie, said Dotty. What a cheeky little biscuit! Dotty the cook ran and she ran as fast as she could all around the kitchen. But no matter how hard or how fast Dotty ran, Dotty couldn't catch the gingerbread man. Sprinkles! The gingerbread man is getting away! Sprinkles the mouse tried to catch the gingerbread man, but Sprinkles the mouse couldn't catch him either. The gingerbread man laughed as he ran. Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! The little gingerbread man opened the kitchen door and ran out across the fields of ice and snow, running as fast as he could go. Bobbin Bear said, My present for Cousin Ola is running away. But being a bear, he couldn't run very fast. He could only run slow. And the gingerbread man laughed, running as quick and as fast as he could go. Next that day, Cousin Ola was out on her sleigh. But even though Cousin Ola's sleigh went fast, that gingerbread man just ran right past. But look up ahead. What do you see? Is it a reindeer hiding behind a tree? Huh? Rudy the reindeer shook his head and said, I don't really eat gingerbread. I'd much prefer a nice juicy carrot instead. At that very moment, so our story goes, there came a chubby snowman with a carrot nose. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a reindeer and what do you suppose? That hungry little reindeer looking for his lunch. He ate the snowman's carrot nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> oh dear. The reindeer and the snowman were so busy chasing each other that the gingerbread man thought, I'm getting away. Everybody's forgotten about me. Na, 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 na. But soon the gingerbread man came to the edge of a frozen river. It made his little gingerbread toes begin to shake and shiver. But he noticed that that day something special had happened to the water. The water had turned to ice. The gingerbread man thought it would be nice to go skating on the ice. But that little gingerbread man's head was so full of sugar and spice if he had only taken time to read the sign, it said danger. Thin ice. The gingerbread man jumped on the ice. It cracked and he fell in. Help, help, cried the gingerbread man. Gingerbread cannot swim. But a sly old fox was swimming nearby whenever he heard the gingerbread man cry. Oh, my dear, sweet little biscuit, my clever little cookie, climb upon my tail and I'll swim you across the river. There's no need for a gingerbread man like you to shake and shiver. So the gingerbread man climbed on to the fox's tail. Then the fox said, why don't you climb on my back instead? So the gingerbread man climbed on to the fox's back. Next, the little gingerbread climbed all the way up onto the fox's head. And I think we all know how this story goes. The fox said, why don't you climb upon my black pointy nose? When the gingerbread man climbed onto the fox's nose, he gobbled him up from his head to his toes. 
That was the end of the gingerbread man. He couldn't outsmart the fox, no matter how fast he ran. Dotty the cook arrived just in time, and she said, Crumbs! Because that was all that was left of him. Bobbin Bear began to cry. Dotty, that was my present for Cousin Ola. What am I going to make her now? But Dotty said, Don't worry, Bobbin. Why, tomorrow we can bake some more gingerbread. Why don't we make Cousin Ola a nice warm mug of hot chocolate instead? So that's exactly what they did. Bobbin Bear and Cousin Ola enjoyed a nice warm mug of hot chocolate on a winter's day. All's well that ends well. Unless, of course, you're made of gingerbread, that is. We hope you all enjoyed our magical winter story. But guess what, Jingles? Santa Claus will soon be here. I'm so excited! Christmas! Christmas! Merry Christmas to all our friends in Carrick Fergus from the Kingdom of Hullabaloo!